Hi! Welcome to the life of a Latina engineer. So, it's the summer and you're on an internship. Woo! <laughs> but now what? Today, we're gonna talk about the things to do to get the most out of your internship. So, it's not enough just to get an internship and show up and expect the best of it. You need to prepare to get the most out of this internship. Getting an internship is one of the most important things to do while you're finishing up your higher education. It is a place where you'll be able to apply all the things that you learn in the classroom. You will learn so much every summer and you will be able to apply everything to the real world. If you're able to get multiple internships through different summers through your career, then you will see the immense growth that you get from one year to the next. However, it is really important to pick good internships that will help you grow, especially in the areas that you want to focus your specialties. But today, we're going to focus on the things to do once you already have this internship and you're about to start. So the first thing to do is to set a list of goals and skills that you want to get out of this internship. For this, it is really important that you research the company that you will be interning for. You need to learn about what the products they make, how the team works, what kind of software they use, especially if you are doing design, what type of software you need to know and what and maybe that you will be learning. This way, you know what you're going into and you have a list of things that you really want to focus on getting out there. This is especially important if it is your first internship. You don't want to go in there and not know how anything works or what to do. You want to be ready to learn and knowing what to expect, knowing what things to ask and how you can help the company as well. Some of the goals or skills that you can make a list from that you want to learn are, for example, learning how to use a different software. Maybe the company that you're working for uses a different software that you learn in school. You can take this time to learn how to use that software, or maybe they use multiple ones. So you can also learn different types. You can also learn more in depth a specific uh, software that you already know. In my case, I knew SOLIDWORKS, but once I started interning, there were so many other things that I didn't know that I hadn't used in school before. So definitely that was something that I really appreciated because it opened my world to be able to create better designs and also faster. Another goal that you can have is to learn how to work in teams. I found that it's really different to work in teams when you're in school versus when you're at work. I feel like there is more commitment when you're at work. You're exposed to the environment where you will potentially be working in the future. So you will learn how to work with different people, different ages, different majors and different specialties. Another thing that you can focus on learning during this internship and that I think is really important and that I emphasize a lot for engineers is to get hands-on experience. Maybe you're hoping to go into your internship as a mechanical engineer and want to learn how to design and how to create complex assemblies, but sometimes it is important to also learn how to do things with your hands, how to learn how to use tools, just because you won't always be sitting in front of the computer. Sometimes you're gonna be out on the production floor and you're gonna learn how to maybe rework a specific product that is just not working now, like the design engineer or the manufacturing engineer meant to. So it's definitely really important to know how to use your tools, how to get around the shop, what things are called. Um, so definitely you can use this time to get trained too because you're doing an internship and you're focusing on things that you need to get out of that internship rather than once you start working and taking on a job as a design engineer, maybe you won't have time to do other things that you could have learned during your internship. So also always customize your internship and with internships, it is amazing because companies and maybe your boss or your coworkers, they will know that you're there to learn and they have a lot of flexibility. They tend to give you a lot of flexibility to, so that you can learn at your own pace and you can focus on the things that you want to learn. This is also the time to make mistakes. And I know it doesn't sound attractive to make mistakes, but from mistakes is where you learn the most. So definitely don't be as scared of trying new things. Don't be scared of maybe designing something and having it come up bad or not working because from those mistakes you will be learning and you will be at a time where it is acceptable. They will be more helpful, they will be more understanding and they will be more willing to help you so that you can be more successful. So definitely during this time, try out everything and don't be scared of failure because this is a time to learn from those mistakes. The second thing to do is to find a mentor. Sometimes when you're at work, you're assigned your boss and he will be the one telling you what to do and what tasks you need to complete. But sometimes you get your internship and while you have someone to report to, it is not directly that person that will be telling you what to do. Maybe your boss will be the manager of the engineers, but the engineers themselves will be the ones you, that you will be working for. So in this case, you are more likely 
to be able to identify someone that you want to learn from and that you want to make your mentor. This way you can ask them the things that you want to learn, you can work with them closely, you can watch what they do so that you can learn what it is to be an engineer or any other type of professor that you're going to school for. There are also different ways to go about this. The first one is to identify one person and learn the most you can from that person so that you can get knowledge on that area if it's something that really you are passionate about. The other thing is to find multiple people that you want to learn from that in, then rather than focusing on one specific thing, maybe you don't have an emphasis on your degree yet. That way you can learn from different people and you can have a variety of skills that you can learn through your internships. So definitely don't think that you have to have one person that you're going to work with that you're going to ask questions to. You can also have multiple ones and learn as much as you can. The third thing that you can do is practice your collaboration. This can be with fellow interns that you might be interning with or with other engineers or any other co-workers that you might have. Like I said earlier, I find a really big difference between the commitment that you have with your teammates in school than when you start working. You have more responsibilities, but everybody also is more committed to their job. They are passionate about their job and they might not see it just like a boring homework that they have to complete. So it is really important that you take this time to learn how to work with people, not how to split up tasks, how to work together to be successful, because these skills will be important no matter what profession you're doing or what job you do. A lot of big projects consist of a lot of people working together and it's a really important skill to have. Now, this next thing is really important. Don't not ever just sit and do nothing. <laughs> you will not learn anything if you sit there waiting for someone to tell you what to do. Because most of the times they just, they'll forget. I mean, interns usually, usually they just come during the summer. They're in the company for about three months and then they go away and then the company doesn't have the interns for the rest of the year. So a lot of times the, work, the people that are working there just forget that, you know, you have this extra set of hands that can help you. So definitely don't just sit around and wait for someone to talk to you and tell you what to do because it might not happen. You have to go out there and ask for jobs. Even if you feel like you're bothering someone, don't feel like you are. Most of the times, especially talking as myself as an engineer, we need an extra set of hands that can help us. Uh, sometimes it's just a simple drawing. Sometimes it might be more complex. In my case, I had, I've only been working for one year and I was able to, you know, work with the interns that came after me and give them a little more responsibility and be like, you know what, here you go, this is the idea, go ahead and design it and then we'll work together to improve it. So definitely ask, there will always be something to do, just don't sit out there and think that maybe I just have to wait and something will come to me because it won't happen, <laughs> because it might or it might not happen. But definitely it is not helping you at all if you're just sitting there. But go out there, ask people what they're doing, if they like their job, what degrees they got to get to the positions that they are, do they like it, how many years have they been working there, uh, how do they find transitioning from one company to the other one. So there are definitely things that you can do, even if it's just asking questions and maybe not doing something directly, but you will be learning. You will be learning about how to grow as a professional and never think that you're bothering someone. And if it comes worse to worse and nobody really has anything for you to work on, just take a walk around the shop, take a walk around the company. If you're lucky to have the, the production floor next to the offices, then you're like you're at the best position you could be because you can learn from the design team and the engineers, but you can also learn from the actual factory floor. So if you're an engineer major, especially a mechanical or manufacturing engineer, then you can watch what's going out there, how they manufacture parts, maybe identify some things that they can improve on, maybe recommend a project that you can take on and that you have that opportunity to be, you know, hands-on, that you can be involved, that you can make some designs and maybe bring that improvement to the company. And if you're able to complete this project, whether it is successful or not, you can learn from it. But it also shows the company how committed you are, how creative, how you're willing to go out of the box and you know, you come, just come up with improvements because as engineers, our job is to problem solve, you know, to pr solve problems. So if you're doing that on your own without somebody telling you, you know, this is a problem, solve it. And you're actually going out there looking for the problems, 
coming up with solutions and coming up with a project to complete whether it's successful or not is going to show them what a good engineer you can be and you're more than likely to be potentially be hired on later on once you complete your studies or maybe extend that internship as a part-time while you're still completing your education that brings me to the next point is to seek opportunities to expand your internship whether it is to keep working after the summer as a part-time as an intern or maybe even grow the potential to be hired on as an engineer once you complete your education so internships don't have to be only during the summer those three months in the summer are not the only times where you can do an internship you can do an internship in the month that you have off between december and january or you can do an internship that is part-time while you're completing your studies especially if the company that you're internship for is really close to the campus that you're going to school for in my case, I was able to intern at the company during the summer and then I went back to school in the fall. But then I started doing a part-time internship during the spring as I completed my studies. At that time, I had only a few classes left. So I was able to divide my time between doing a part-time uh, internship and completing my studies. So while my internship and my school weren't super close, I was able to work out so that I could go to my internship three times a week and I could go to school the other two days. And this is where I want to point out that internships are really flexible and they will always be willing to work with you and your schedule. Another thing that I was able to do is that this internship that I started in the spring came with an automatic transition as a full-time engineer. So before I even graduated from college, I was able to have an internship where I was working about 30 hours per week because my, my school schedule allowed me to. I was able to get involved into projects that were more demanding, that were more of a level of an engineer. And then by the time I graduated, that week that I graduated, this contract was automatically going to turn into a full-time engineering job with an engineering salary. So imagine that you're six months into graduation and you already know that you have a place to work. You're already getting in there. You're already getting the projects. You're already feeling like you're becoming an engineer and you're just so close. It is a really good way to you know graduate know that what you're going into being excited with what's there to come and just knowing that you're doing something that you like and that you have found a company that you want to work with so when you're doing an internship i always seek for opportunities to not just have that internship during the summer to try to expand it and this is where doing some of these steps that i'm going over during your internship really counts because it shows how responsible you are the commitment that you have how much you're eager to learn and work and this really shows they really see the attitudes that you have when you show up to your internship and every single day you're ready to learn you're ready to tackle whatever problem they give you they, they will really see it and this will help you eventually later if you want to work for them in the future or if you want to expand your internship. The next one is to keep a journal to record all the projects that you work on and the accomplishments or things that you learn through your internship. So you might be working on many different things through your internship or you might think that it's a simple thing that you're working on but it's really important that you record all these things especially for example for me in SOLIDWORKS there were little tricks that will help me be more faster when creating my designs that maybe if I didn't use them for a while while I went back to school I would forget about them so this way I could go back and see the things that I learned it will help me remember some of the things that just in my brain I just couldn't keep track of them if I didn't use them. Another thing that this journal can help you with is go over the things that you worked through the whole summer and just realizing how much you grew. For example, from mine, from my first internship to the second, I saw such an amazing growth. The first internship, I took on one project that maybe took me almost the whole summer. And my next year, when I went to a different company to do another internship, this, something similar or maybe even more complicated, I was able to complete in one month. So I definitely saw that from one summer to the other one, I just felt more confident, I felt more ready, and I felt more accomplished and ready to take bigger tasks. And another thing that would also help you is that if you go back and you're either updating your resume or your LinkedIn profile, you have this list or this journal that have the things that you have worked on and it will be way easier to upload those documents or those profiles with things that you work on. You'll be able to remember more things than if you're just trying to remember over the top of your head uh, the things that you work on, uh, especially because you might miss something really important that, might just, that you might just not think about the moment that you're uploading uh, your profile or your resume. 
And the last thing is to watch and learn. You never underestimate the power of just watching and learning from other people. Maybe the first few weeks you can dedicate it to just watching and learning from your coworkers or from the other professionals that you hope to have a position like them in the future. So here, go back to the questions I covered earlier about what their majors were, how, how they get to this position, what skills are the ones that they're using the most, so that you can get an idea of what to expect when you're going into the workforce. Never feel like if you're just watching and not really doing anything on your own that you're not learning because it is not the case. It will help you be ready for when you actually take on a project that might cover some of the things that you learned from someone else doing something and you were just watching. You will remember the things and you will see that that time that maybe you weren't actually doing something but you were just watching, it was worth it because now that you're doing it, you're able to remember what they were doing. This is also where it's important to get different points of view, different types, the different types that people work. Not everybody works the same, not everybody decides the same. So here you can get different points of view and you can pick your own or you can make a mix of things and skills that people use to create your own way of working. So hopefully you find these tips helpful and you apply them to your internship this summer. And also, good luck during your internship. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and leave me a comment down below with which of these tips was your favorite one and that you can't wait to apply it into your internship this summer. If you want to learn more about college education, engineering school, and early career life, come back next week. There's a new video every Saturday. Thank you for watching. Bye!